Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Designer Slash Gamer, and today we are playing Lego Worlds. You guys remember Sheila? You guys, today we are doing a somewhat different episode. Normally, I try to make them as cinematic as possible. I spend a lot of time editing. I put special effects in. I want them to be really cool. And this episode is going to be really cool too. But we're not going to do a lot of editing. This is going to just kind of be me hanging out with you guys, talking about the world, hanging out with Sheila, and it's going to be a little more simple. The reason is, is because I'm actually out of town when you're watching this. I'm in Europe on vacation, but I did not want to go a whole week without you guys getting your Saturday morning Lego Worlds episode. So I pre-recorded an episode for you so you guys would have something to watch. I'm out of town, but if you want to follow Sheila's adventures, then you can follow me on Instagram. It's at designer slash gamer, all one word. And you'll get to see pictures of this little Sheila, this little mini fig right here, her traveling all the way to Europe. She's going to Belgium. She's going to Amsterdam. She's going some other places along the way. It's a long plane ride. I loaded up her little mini iPad with, you know, some Lego movies and uh, all kinds of stuff to watch. <laughs> it's going to be a fun time. So if you guys want to follow her adventures, follow us on Instagram and you'll be able to see what's going on. And you'll also see clips from past episodes on Instagram. I always share highlight clips from episodes and I've been doing that for a long time now. So be sure to follow us on Instagram so you can get updates on our adventures and our fun around the world. Speaking of the world, a lot of you guys have requested that I do a world tour. And I've only done a couple of tours and we've toured Ivory City, and recently we kind of flew above Ivory City and toured it a little bit, but we've never actually done a tour of the entire world and all of the builds. So I figured this is the perfect episode to do that. Um, if you're new to the channel, you can get a nice little tour here. We can relax, we can hang out, and we can enjoy Ivory City with Sheila. Sheila's on the very top of the Ivory Tower right now, and she's just looking around. She's like, ooh, look at all this fun stuff. <laughs> So let's see what she's looking at. So she's on the very top of the ivory tower. This is her home. And we started building this in episode two. And we've been building it ever since. Look at that. It's so cool, it's huge, it's very tall. It is the tallest building in the city. See this? Anywhere around, tallest building. Okay, Sheila, why don't you go ahead and put away your binoculars. Let's go into Sheila's point of view and Let's do a world tour! And when we're done touring this world, we're going to take off to the other worlds that we've built in. So this is the very top up here. We've got a little uh, rooftop garden. And now we're going to head down the stairs down here. And we're going to go all the way down into the ivory tower. And we're going to tour the tower first, and then we'll head to the other buildings in Ivory City. This is really cool because when you're up here, you can kind of look down and you can see uh, Chinatown. You can see the brand new uh, outdoor marketplace. You can see pretty much everything from up here. It's a really nice vantage point on top of the tower. Okay, so this is where we want to go in here. So we're going to go down here. There's a big... Oh, yep, perfect. Okay, there's a giant window right here where you can kind of look down and see the rest of the city. So let's keep going down here. There's a lot of stairs in uh, in the ivory tower <laughs> it's a lot a lot of stairs i really hope they add elevators to the game someday because that's gonna that'd be really cool you guys i think that'd be really fun okay so we're gonna keep going down the stairs here okay so now we're down the, to the next level and this is the conservatory it's got a really high ceiling up here it looks really cool at night you can see all the stars it's really pretty and you can kind of see down to the rest of the city you can see we've got a cheerleader down here and a robot um in Chinatown hanging out <laughs> all right let's keep going this way so over here oh Sheila's on the wall I think there we go <laughs> over here is Sheila's bedroom so she's got a sort of a bathroom area over here uh, and she's got her bed right here and this really cool wall with this glowing tree and then some stars stars ish up here when I was a kid, I had a glowing star ceiling in my bedroom, so it kind of reminds me of that, so that's why we did that. Um, and she's got, I mean, these are really high ceilings, you guys. 
She probably feels really small looking up there. That's her toilet. <laughs> this is her patio out here. She's got a water fountain. She's got all kinds of beautiful flowers. And the view, and she's got these cool chairs too she can hang out in and have coffee. And the view from up here is really cool, you guys. Look at this. It's so pretty. You can see the whole world. Let's go over here. From this side, you can see the hotel that we're building for you guys. Look at that. And then you can see right down there. Okay, now let's go in here and let's go down the stairs. This world tour is fun, you guys. I like touring the world because it's, it's really cool to see and explain and go through all of the different things that I've built. And it's kind of crazy to see how much, how much is actually here. There's so much. This is our droid Devin. That's his little friend. Uh, I think we named him Wally. Because <laughs> they, they look like Wally to me. They, they totally do. Okay, so this is uh, this is like a helicopter landing pad. There's no helicopter here now, but we've had one here in the past. And it's a perfect place to like, you know, lift off and check out the world. We're actually going to put a helicopter over there. And let's just do it right now. Why not? Because we're going to need one later on to fly to a different part of the world and check out some other builds. Helicopter, let's see, I think she prefers the Arctic helicopter. So let's stick that right here. Okay, perfect. We'll come back for that later. For now, we're gonna continue the tour. This is Sheila's grand piano. That's her little dance mat. Like, this is kind of her recreational room, I guess. And she can also, if someone rings the doorbell, she can come over here and kind of like look down and see who it is before she goes down and answers it. Hopefully they don't see her and they're like, I'm not an answer the door. <laughs> okay, now let's go downstairs to the main uh, part of the house, or at least the kitchen area. Let's keep going down the stairs. The stairs are really cool because there's a window that goes all the way up. So while you're going down the stairs, you can kind of look out and see the rest of the city. It's really pretty. Okay, let's go down here. So this is the main level. So we've got Sheila's kitchen right here. And then we have a little dining area. And then this is kind of her living room area. And then this is the back entrance to the tower. And this is the front entrance right over here, the front door. So why don't we go, let's go down the back first so we can show you guys uh, down here. So go out the back door. So we have a, an unfinished project right here. All these stairs need to be finished. Uh, and we're gonna do that we're gonna do that in a future episode. We actually need to work on the ivory tower because it just it just needs some work. <laughs> it needs some love. So that's the, that's the open air marketplace in Chinatown, and it's so it's so cool. We built that in the last episode. So if you haven't seen that episode yet, ch be sure to check it out. It's really neat. Okay, let's keep going down here, down the stairs. Like I said earlier, there are a lot of stairs um, in the ivory tower and mostly because it's just like so tall and you need stairs to go down and up. <laughs> and so <laughs> we have a lot of stairs. Okay, so let's keep going down. That's our kitty cat. Hi, Lady Meowington. Hi, what are you doing? You licking your paws? This is, what is, this is kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a deck. Oh, there's Louis the lion. Hey, buddy. And there's our dog, Theodore. This is where all of our animals are hanging out. I was wondering where they are. I bet Piper's down here somewhere, too. Um, This is Piper's ice patch right here. We built this because he was feeling kind of... Oh, is that our goat? Hey, goat. I think it's Gustav. Uh, we built that because Piper was kind of homesick, and he needed, he needed like, an ice patch. So we built that for him a while ago. This is Sheila's pool. Sheila, why don't you, do, why don't you dip in there really quick? I'm sure you're kind of hot, so let's just jump in there. This is her pool. She can come over here and she can cool off on a hot summer day. And there's these beautiful water fountains. She really likes the pool. See that? Look at her. <laughs> okay. Let's hop out of the pool. And let's keep going. Well, which way do we go? There's so many things to see. Uh, let's... We're right by the... Well, there's the pirate ship. There's the hotel. Uh, look at the hotel. Uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the pirate ship. Hey guys, you gonna be nice, Lewis? That's it. Lewis is he's a lion. Just you know, you know, kind of a wild animal, so you never know what he's gonna do. Let's go over to the pirate ship. So this is the uh, one of the restaurants in Ivory City. 
It's called La Pirata Loca, and it's Mexican pirate fusion cuisine. It's run by, uh, not a zombie. At least he didn't used to be a zombie. Uh, it's run by our friend, oh, is that a, those pieces of a dragon? What happened? What happened to our night dragon? Did the zombie get him? Okay, so this is run by, oh no, here we go. Let's just jump up here. <laughs> this is run by zombies. No, it's run by our friend, pirate, our pirate friends, One-Eyed Willie and his wife, Barbara. Um, and they run a pretty tight ship. <laughs> no, they, <laughs> they run a restaurant and it's a delicious restaurant. And it's here. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, and you guys, it's gonna be nighttime soon, so we should probably spin the sky so we can keep it, so we can keep it bright. So Sheila, why don't you get out your sky spinner, and let's spin the sky and keep it morning. There we go. Just cause I mean, night's beautiful, but. It's, it's a lot easier to see in the morning. And we're doing a tour, so we need to be able to see. Okay, let's keep going this way. Hey, Rosie, that's our robot. Hi, lady. Okay, let's jump over here and let's get past Lewis. Hopefully he doesn't attack us. Ooh, okay. Run, Sheila, run, run, run. <laughs> okay, let's go up this way. I think we lost him. Yeah, we lost him. Oh, there's Piper. I can see. Oh, no, we didn't lose it. <laughs> Sheila, run. Oh my gosh. I guess we could attack him, but I feel bad. Okay, now he's stuck. Oh, no, he's not stuck. <laughs> Great. Well, Lewis got us. I hope he's gone now. Go away, Lewis. What a jerk. All right, let's go, let's go back and get our apple. All right, let's go up here. Let's go up here. Okay, maybe he's not gonna attack us now. Sheila, put away your apple. No, don't throw it. Okay. Let's go over here and let's check out the hotel. So we're building a giant hotel for you guys, for the viewers. And we just built this beautiful <laughs> Western themed restaurant, or at least we got it started. It's right here. Uh, and we're gonna work on that in the future. But we wanted to build a really like fun themed restaurant in the lobby. So that's that. So this is the main lobby of the hotel. We'll go up the stairs and we will look at one of the guest rooms so you guys can see. If you haven't seen yet what they look like, you'll be able to see them. So let's keep going up here. Okay, so there are 10 floors, or 10 floors above the lobby floors. And they each have a whole lobby area that has uh, these cool sofas and lights and there's stairs that go all the way up. And then there is a balcony out here with some places to eat. Well, it's, it's a little different on this level because, yeah, it's different. Um, but on the other levels, there's like a wall here and there's uh, places to hang out. So then let's go over here. I got some, that's the coffee machine. Each unit, well, it's supposed to, I think some of them disappeared. Each unit has a mailbox. Sometimes things disappear in the game. Um, oh. Yeah, we're missing, uh, <laughs> we're missing some kitchen stuff. The bedroom stuff is all here, but the kitchen stuff appears to be gone. So let's check out a different, let's check out the other unit. Maybe the other unit has all of its stuff in it. Does this one have all of its stuff? Nope. Okay, let's go to this side of the building. We're gonna have to do some repair work to those units. Okay, maybe this side's good. Yeah, this side looks like it's fine. Okay, here we go. So the, no, the living room stuff is missing. Okay, uh, so the kitchen is right here and there's some stuff missing, but there'd normally be a refrigerator. There should be chairs here and a sofa there. And then this is the bedroom area and there's a couple of chairs and a bed. And then there should be a nightstand and some more stuff in the bathroom but looks like looks like some stuff is missing but it's okay we'll fix all that don't worry okay let's go down and let's show you guys the gym so we just built a gym in our other series designing and building in lego worlds and it's right over there 
So let's see. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go down this way. So there's a circular staircase right here. So the hotel obviously is unfinished. We're working on these two sections here. These are going to be retail spaces. And then of course we're going to build walls all around this part. This isn't finished yet. Um, working on that. This is a really big project, much bigger than I thought it would be. Um, it's fun, but it's, it's a huge, huge project. The biggest I've ever done. Uh, well, the biggest in this game I've ever done. Okay, so we're going up the stairs, circular stairs, and now, now we're in the gym space. So this is like the snack bar area. There's little sandwiches here, and there's coffee. This is the cardio room. Lots of air conditioning. We've got a TV right here. Dance mats, yoga mats, mushrooms. One of you guys had the idea to move these down into the floor so they're not sticking out. I'm gonna try that and we'll see. We'll see how that works. There's a little computer back here so you can check people into the gym. And then this is the free weight area. So there's all kinds of dumbbells and barbells. And there's a little sofa here, a magazine, and there's bench presses. The gym's pretty amazing. Okay, let's get out of the hotel. Let's go out this way. And then let's go over here and let's check out the police station. So in this part of the city, we just started building all of this stuff down here in this part so this part's going to be a little like a little flatter than up there um so we're going to have some like denser buildings down here so we're going to have this police station we're going to have a fire station and a bunch of other buildings down here but we might even do some road plates so you can drive uh cars around on the road and that's going to be in this section so this is the police station this just came with the game we didn't actually change much um we just plopped it so we can go in here and check it out really quick. So this is, I guess, the main check-in area where you check in all the criminals. And then if they need to go to jail, the jail is right back here. Looks like there's a there's some stuff in there. There's a toilet. They can hang out, sit in their jail cell. I don't know, write letters, read books. Who knows? Uh, this is like a patio out here. And that, we need to delete that. That's just, we put that out there for reference so we could build the saloon in the hotel. Okay, let's keep going up. Uh, I'm not really sure what this, oh, look at that computer, that's cool. Uh, this is just like a little, I don't know, police area where people work on stuff. There's an exit. I like that exit sign, that's cool. <laughs> okay, let's keep going up, and I think up here is just maybe the roof. Let's open up this door. Yeah, this is the roof with a helicopter landing pad. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's go, should we go over, let's go over and check out the, uh, let's go check out the beach house. Cause we're already on this side of the island, so we may as well check out the beach house. Hey, Piggy. I think it's right over here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's down there. So the beach house is Sheila's vacation house. And I think someday, there it is. I think someday we are going, oh look, there's Agent Chase. This is Sheila's boyfriend, you guys. Hey buddy, how's it going? How's it, yeah, what are you, what are you up to? What, you're just gonna, just gonna walk away? Stay here, oh, there we go. Say hi to Sheila, this is your girlfriend. Yeah, this is your girlfriend. Okay, he's, he's obviously, uh, he's busy, he's occupied. This is our beach house. This is where Sheila comes to relax. This is a little sand castle that she built. Let's go inside here really quick and show you guys the beach house. This is a like, back patio. And then I think this is a spare bedroom. Got a spare bed in here, some toys. And then this is the main living room area. So there's a kitchen in here. There's uh, like a little dining area. And then a big giant crate. That we're just gonna break. <laughs> this is a sectional sofa in the living room space. And then back here we have just, I think this is just like a back patio. We have some lounger chairs where you can watch the sunset and it's beautiful. 
you get that really pretty view from the ocean. So I think someday we're going to build an entire city down here, like a whole beach city. I think that'd be really neat um, with some shops and stuff. So let's go over here. This is uh, the master bedroom in here. So we got a giant bed and we have a wardrobe and a computer where Sheila can check her email. And then if you want to go upstairs, you have to go outside and you can go up these stairs right here. And this will take you to the second level. And up here we have a really cool... We need to come here more often, Sheila. This is so awesome. I always forget about the beach house. We have some loungers here and then we have this sectional, outdoor sectional sofa that's covered in case it rains, which it never does in Lego World. Um, and then we have this uh, conservatory in here with all kinds of plants, flowers and stuff. These are flowers and plants that Sheila has collected from around the world. All right, so let's go, let's get out of the beach house. Oh yeah, we have a little back patio too with a little uh, barbecue and blue dragon. and B Blue dragon, hey buddy, that's the water dragon. Uh, yeah, that's it, that's the beach house. Okay, we're gonna run back up to Ivory City and we're gonna keep touring. Oh, we got skeletons coming out. Skeleton, oh, there's a cave over here? I didn't know about the cave. Right by the house, and we haven't even explored it yet. Okay, so, moving right along, we're gonna run back over here to Ivory City. We're just walking past the hotel. And we're gonna go over here, and we're going to go up to the main part of the city. So this is, this is a road that goes up to this, uh, to the other part of the city. It's like a sloped road. Down here, we're gonna have flat roads. We're still working on that. Why don't, actually, instead of going up the road, why don't we go up the stairs? Because there is a side stairs. Because that's meant for cars. This is meant for minifigures. So they don't get run over by the cars. Or motorcycles. So we'll go up these stairs. We built all of this a while back in our designing and building series. So you guys have to check out that episode. Give some good tips for landscaping. Going up. Oh, looks like we have a little issue there. Gotta fix that someday. All right, so we're gonna go up these stairs. The last set of stairs. Okay, so here's a spot where there's some missing road. <laughs> Another thing to fix. <laughs> Can add to the list. This right here. Let's go over here and take a look at it. This is our friend Wild Style. Our DJ friend, that's her house. She has these plants that keep moving around on her. Uh, these viney things? We put them down here a while back. Oh no. Oh jeez. <laughs> Ivory City has become dangerous. It used to be very safe. And now we have werewolves crawling around and attacking people. Uh, okay, so we're talking about Wild Style's house. It's really fun, it's kind of modern. Um, it's right by the Ivory Tower which we toured earlier. That's right here. Uh, so let's show, okay, you better be nice. You better be, you better just, God. All right, we better get out of here. Let's go up here and let's check out the uh, Chinatown, the Temple Gate. So this is one of the brick builds that, uh, oh look, I got a robot. This is one of the showcase brick builds that you can download in the game and it's beautiful. It's a, it's a Chinese temple gate. Um. It just, I love it. It's just like the designers that that did this, the real master builders that worked on the game did an incredible job. All right, so then we're gonna go down here. Oh, that werewolf. Man, you better be nice, buddy. Okay, let's run past him so he hopefully he doesn't see us. All right, let's go up here. So these are the steps up to Wild Style's house. This is her little patio area. This is the entry to her house. This is her sofa and her living room stuff, her TV, her incredible view that we're always jealous of, of the tower. And then that's her kitchen. She gets a really cool view here too while she cooks, this giant window. And that's her refrigerator. If you go up here, this is the second level where her bedroom is. She's got a little computer there. 
And this is where she practices her drums. Always late at night. Always. <laughs> and Sheila can definitely hear it when she does it late at night. That's her, uh, her uh, stereo. All right, so let's go. Why don't we go this way? We'll go out of the house here. Let's go this way. And then let's go down here. Keep going this way. So over here we have the park. There's Dan Brickman. Hey buddy. This is the park. This is like Sheila's little park where she can hang out and swing and bounce on mushrooms and play on merry-go-rounds. This is the soccer field. We're missing a goal post here. Um, that's our toy soldier friend. And then let's go up here. And we'll show you guys this in a second. For now, we want to go over here and show you guys the other stuff. So, let's go this way. So, up over here is the church. Hey, horsey. We got a cop over here making sure everything's on the up and up. Hey, cop. Uh-oh. No, Sheila, don't give that. Now we're going to have a horse following us around. All right. Out of the way, buddy. <laughs> this is the church. We built that in the Designing and Building in LEGO World series, right around Halloween time. Stained glass windows. There should be some benches in here. Uh, there's these really cool uh, candle torches and a, an organ and a beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower. All right, let's keep going. Okay, horse, just get out of the way. Oh, man. Let's try and outrun that horse. All right, so we're gonna keep going down here. Then we'll go over to the right. This is the gas station where Rhonda works. It's where Sheila can gas up her pink Cadillac and she can buy some Cheetos and ice cream bars. And there's Master Wu. That's the car wash. There's a bunny. <laughs> this is the diner. It's a 50s diner, 50s style diner. We're kind of converting it into an 80s style diner. Hey cop, oh, he's got his baton out. We didn't do anything. Put that away. Man, we got the animus garden here. So the diner's really cool and the food is really good. We have the best mushroom Swiss burger in town. All right, so that's the diner. Uh, and above the diner, there's a gym. Let's go down here. This is the uh, roller, the Coral Derby. It's a roller skating rink in Ivory City. It's crazy fun. And look, there's people down here hanging out. And there's Piper. That's where Piper is. Piper's our uh, pet, one of our pets, a polar bear. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You guys being good? Got some ninjas down here. Got some citizens hanging out. All right, let's get out of here. And let's go up over. Uh, let's go. We'll go up here so we can go to the drive in movie theater. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna hop over here. This is the drive in movie theater. So you can pull your car up here to the screen and you can watch an amazing movie. And there's always good movies playing. And then there's a snack bar right over here where you can get ice cream and espresso and cappuccino. All right. Let's keep going. Guys, Ivory City is huge. It's huge. So up here is another part of the city. Now we've got a project we're working on over in this area. It's a secret project. Well, it's not a secret, but I haven't really talked about it much yet. So we're not going to tour that. Um, this is our friend Max's house. He is the guy that does the series designing and building in Lego worlds. And you can kind of see if you go to the, oh, here we go. Oh, we, oh, we fell all the way down. Shoot. <laughs> I was trying to get as close to the edge as possible without falling down, but we fell down. It's okay though. We'll climb up over here and we will go into the house. There we go. We're on the lower, the lowest level. So this is where there's an infinity pool right here and some lounge chairs and that horse is still following us. And there's a nice cool stereo and a place to eat and some sofas. 
and it's almost nighttime, so we're gonna spin the sky. This, oh, not the carrot. Let's get the sky spinner out. Spin the sky and make it morning again. Because it gets kind of dark at night. Here we go. Alright. So we're going to climb up the uh, curved staircase here and get up to the next level. Okay. There we go. It's definitely a space saver, saver having a curved staircase, but sometimes they're a little tricky to... I think we need some railings on this one. Yep. Okay, there we go. So this is the bedroom level. So when Max is tired, he can come in here and he can sleep and check his email and then he can also take a bath. There's no windows though, so hopefully no one's looking in here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep going up here to the next level. And up some more. Okay. This is the kitchen level. So we have a kitchen, t we have a table over here with the some benches and nice kitchen. Plenty of space to cook some delicious Lego food. All right, so I'm going to this next level. And I think the next level is the very top. And that's where you can park your car and go inside. Yep. All right, so that's the very top of the house. So that's Max's house. So let's go back over here and I'll show you guys Dino Park. Uh, let's go. Let's hop over this way. So you guys know that Sheila is a paleontologist, which means that she studies dinosaurs. Hey guys. So because she studies dinosaurs, we wanted to build sort of a Jurassic Dino Park, and we have that right over here. So this is where we keep all of our dinosaurs. Sometimes they're nice. Sometimes they're not nice. Hey Rex gonna be nice and there's a bunch of raptors in here too so there's another Tyrannosaurus Rex down there and there's some raptors so there's a lot of cool things we want to do with this in the future um, there's a raptor but for now this is our dino park our Jurassic Park so now we're gonna head over to let's see we'll head over to the Eiffel Tower so let's go up let's go up over this way Hey cop, how's it going buddy? Alright, so this is the Eiffel Tower. We built that from the original Lego set, uh, from like the real, the real plans. And it's mostly, we had to make a couple of substitutions here and there, but it's pretty much exactly as it's built in the set. Hey horsey! <laughs> and that is a tunnel right there that goes through to the gas station over there. This is what we built in the last episode. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful, Chinese marketplace. So if you go up here, there's all of these booths with tons of food and delicious things and there's jewels and gold cups and all kinds of cool stuff. So that's the main part of the city, guys. Um, we also need to check out the King's Burger Kingdom, so let's do that. Let's go through here. And I'll show you guys this. So we're working on an entrance over here. Uh oh, there's the werewolf again. We're working on an entrance here that will come through here to Chinatown. So we're gonna do that in a future episode. Okay, buddy, you better just be nice. Let's try to lose the werewolf because he's, he's gonna attack us. Is he still following us? No, okay, good. <laughs> But the horse is still following us. <laughs> All right, let's go into the King's Burger Kingdom. All right, so this is the King's Burger Kingdom. It's underneath Ivory City. And this is where you can go to get flame broiled, delicious burgers. You have to go down a few flights of stairs. But they're cool stairs because they're black. And they have neon lights. <laughs> So it's a fun little uh, little place down here. We built this a while back. Uh, one of our friends on YouTube suggested that we build a King's Burger Kingdom, and we were like, that's a great idea. So here it is. So it's kind of in a cave, and there's all these cool flame flames coming down so they can flame broil the burgers. And we have like a water fountain thingy here. 
all kinds of tables to sit at, yummy food, there's a grill, coffee station, and then if you keep going down, hey spider, if you keep going down here further, there's something else under Ivory City in the depths. There it is. So I've been playing this game for about a year, a little over a year now. You guys wouldn't believe how many hours I've played. I was looking at Steam. You know, it tells you how many hours you've played of a game. I've played over 400 hours <laughs> of LEGO Worlds. But it's such a fun game. I don't think I'm ever going to get sick of it. Okay, so this is the Mushroom Kingdom. And this is where some people live. They're like, uh, who is it? Madame Cremini and Mistress Portabella. They're like, uh, what would you call them? They're not magicians. What are they? They're <sighs> herbalists. I don't really know what the word is, but they make cool herbs and they make, they make remedies and things with mushrooms. And this is this really cute village. I wanted to make something that was kind of like Smurfs, you know, because Smurfs was one of my favorite uh, cartoons when I was a kid. And so I figured it'd be cool to have like a little underground Smurf city. So let's go ahead and skydive and get out of here so we can quickly get back to the surface. And I think that I'm going to go this, this way, this way, this way. There we go. I think that's most of Ivory City, but we have more to check out. We're gonna go back to, I guess that's a little ways. Maybe we should just spawn. Let's just spawn a helicopter right here, save some time. And now we're going to fly to the Black Tower. If you guys remember episode, wait, where'd it go? Where did the helicopter go, Sheila? It's gone. Uh, episode 50, Sheila had to fight a bad person, her name's Giselle, and she- why does that keep disappearing? <gasps> okay, let's try this again. Alright, uh, helicopter. Can we place it? Okay, it's not gonna work. Uh, let's try something different. Uh, let's do this and Lee's thing. Hey, that's not gonna work either. Um, maybe right here? This is very odd. I'm not sure why this isn't working. <laughs> so this is a good example of something I would cut out. But since we're not doing any cuts, you guys are seeing behind the scenes stuff. Uh, let's try it this way. Sometimes when a tool doesn't work, try a different tool. Uh, okay, let's place it here. It worked. Okay. There we go. Let's hop in here. And let's fly to the Black Tower. Oh. oh. Sheila, you ruined our dramatic moment. Alright, let's go upwards. The Anlees helicopter is really cool. You get a really neat perspective when you're in the helicopter. Okay, so I think I think the Black Tower is this way. So we're gonna fly this way. And I am actually going to cut this because this will take a while because this is really far away. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Uh, I'm gonna cut this part out and I will see you guys when we get there. All right guys, we're just about to come up to the Black Tower. And it's actually really, it's a really cool building and it looks really neat at night because you can see all the blue lights here. So let's go over here, and let's, we're gonna check it out. Oh, look at all the skeletons still. We're gonna check it out from high up, up here, so you guys can see the whole thing. And then we'll hop down there, and we'll go inside. And we'll check it out. Look at this. That's really neat. <laughs> we spent a lot of time. A lot of those 400 hours were spent building this. game is struggling a little bit. It's a lot to uh, 
a lot for it to process. Oh, look at that. See, that's the very top. And then these are like bridges that go to the sides. So let's go over here and let's land. Let's drop down. We land on the bridge. Oh, so close. So close. So there's a lot of detail in this build. We spent a lot of time making it look uh, look really neat. So see this? Oh, there's a red dragon over here. Um, <laughs> so you guys remember that Giselle lives here. Giselle with a Y. Oh no, here we go. And this is like, this is where she takes off. This is part of, this is her skeleton army that's attacking us. They think they're tough, but they're not. So that's her name right there. Giselle with a Y. Or wait, Giselle with, yeah, Giselle with a Y. <laughs> okay, skeletons, leave her alone. I might have to do some fighting, you guys. So this is the other bridge that goes in this direction. That's uh, Ernesto, the eagle. Oh, okay, just, why don't you just get him, Sheila? We're gonna have to do some fighting during this tour. <laughs> All right, let's go inside the tower here. That's just another bridge over there that goes in that direction. So if you go inside the tower here, let's go into Sheila's perspective. This is how Giselle tricked us. We believed that, and she had some like, there were some glaciators like hiding around the corner here. They might even still be here. Nope. <laughs> this is where all of the the uh, glaciators were that Sheila had to fight. They were all over here, and she fought them, and she defeated Giselle. And then the basement, I think, is over this way. If you if you look up, you can see the whole thing. Is someone attacking us? Come here. Where'd he go? Just get him. Just get him. Just get, him. Just get the skeleton. There we go. We got him. Okay. That's part of Giselle's skeleton army. All right. How do we... Oh, yeah. Okay. This is the stairs. So these stairs go down. Is that Giselle? Hey, Giselle. What's up? You're mean. Out of the way. <laughs> So this is the basement where she was hiding all of our friends and we had to free everybody. They were all down here in some holding cells. But we freed them so they're all gone now. They're all, they all got freed and saved. So let's go back up out of here. We'll walk past Giselle. And then we are going to travel to another world because that is everything on this world. There's a lot here. Hey Giselle. What's up? Your house is looking pretty good. We really like it. Yeah, we do. I mean, you're an evil mastermind. And who knows what you've got planned next. But we really like your house. And we want to come back here and, and hang out in the future. <laughs> it's a really cool place. All right. So let's... Uh, oh, who's this? Mountain climber? Let's head to the rocket ship. And let's visit the moon base. All right, guys, we just landed on the moon and we, oh. <laughs> if you guys remember the episode, Sheila saves Christmas, she came to the moon. And she apparently left the uh, sleigh here. Whoops, sorry, Santa. <laughs> Sheila, you didn't bring that back home to Santa Claus. Poor Santa, he's probably one, he's probably worried sick about, about his reindeer. All right, let's see, where the, where's the moon? Where's the moon base? I think, uh, let's see. So Sheila and her boyfriend, Agent Chase, built a moon base, a secret agent moon base somewhere on the moon. I should, maybe I should look at the map. Let's see, oh, wait, oh, that's it over there. Okay, let's put a beacon. Let's put a beacon there. Do you do that with the right mouse click? Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. So let's go. There's the beacon. Okay. Beacons really help. <laughs> they help you find stuff. So the moon base must be... There it is. All right. So a while back, Sheila and her boyfriend, Agent Chase, he's a secret agent, built this moon base. And we need to add to it. We have some big plans for it. Oh. 
Yeah, hey. This is the the lady that works with Agent Chase. Sheila doesn't like her. I don't know why. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, and there she is again. She's got a clone. She's got a clone. All right, so the moon base is really cool. It is, uh, it's set up in, let's see if we can zoom out just a teeny bit here. It's in modules, and each of the modules are connected by a bridge. So you can get to each one by walking through a module and then going up a bridge and going to the next module. So in the future, what we want to do here is add some furniture to these different modules. So, you know, there'd be like, oh, look, we have a table here, so that's at least something. But we want to have like a bedroom and, you know, make them like livable modules. And then we want to have maybe like one that has a research area. So, you know, if Sheila's visiting, she can continue her studies of whatever she's studying. Agent Chase can continue his secret, whatever he does in secret, his secret agent stuff. But there's a lot of room to expand here. We have a lot of, oh, there's a missing piece there. Uh, we've got a lot of different modules that we can expand in. So, lots to do. <laughs> so that's the moon base. It's pretty amazing. It's really cool. We wanted it to be like uh, dome shaped and that, that took a while to figure that out. Um, but each of the modules here has a dome shape to it. And then we put these gray bricks here that sort of frame each of the windows. I wanted a ton of windows because I figured, you know, you're on the moon. There's gonna be an incredible view anywhere you look with the stars. So you really should take advantage of that view, right? Right? I mean, that's why there's so many windows. <laughs> okay, so let's head back to the rocket ship. And we're gonna visit the final creation. Where, where's it? The, there it is. Even though it's not Christmas time, I kind of secretly wish that Christmas was like all year. Because I love Christmas. No, I don't wish that. Because it's nice to have a break from it. But. It's amazing. It's so much fun. It's the best holiday. Uh, okay, let's hop in the rocket ship. And we're going to visit the final creation. This has been a long episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I've had a really good time showing you guys everything. Um, it's just really cool to go back and visit everything that we've done. And to see just how much, how much we've done. How much we've built. Because we've built a lot. And we're going to build so much more. I have a lot of big plans for the future, so. And you guys are making great suggestions. Thank you so much for commenting on the videos. You guys are really involved in the series, and I love that, because it makes it, makes it a lot more fun. And you guys, like I said, you guys have great suggestions, and please continue to suggest ideas, because almost everything I've built, especially recently, has been suggestions from you guys. So you guys have the best ideas. Here we are in Christmas Town, and it's we're nowhere near Christmas right now. Ooh, it's there. There we go. What are we right now? We're in. Are we in April? It's April. It's April, but we're in Christmas Town. Okay, so where is Santa's workshop? So we built. There it is. We built. Look at the little penguins. Hey, penguin. Should we give him a fish? We don't have any fish. Okay, we tried. Hey, more penguins. So this, this, you guys, this episode was a lot of fun. I had a really great time. This is Santa's workshop. And we converted, there used to be sort of an ice palace up on the top of the hill here. Um, it's a really cool ice palace. And I was thinking, maybe it'd be cool to convert that into Santa's workshop. And I'm glad I did it because it actually turned out Turned out really neat. So let's go up here and let's check out Santa's workshop. So this, this is the runway. So when Santa's taking off and he's got his sleigh here and then he, go, he goes to the end and he flies right past there and delivers presents. 
Before he does that, though, he's back in here in the workshop. And there's a whole section here where we have toy storage. So there's airplanes and toy stuff and toy robots and toy toys. <laughs> and then over here we have a whole like toy building table with a bunch of chairs and we have a clock because you know you gotta know what time it is because you know when it's 11 p.m. on Christmas Eve it's like uh oh we gotta be done guys <laughs> so there's that stuff and then let's see let's go up let's go up this way I can't even remember what's up here oh yeah okay so this is the command center where uh, the elves will figure out um, they, I think they kind of track Santa's flight in here and they're like, oh, Santa's over Africa or Santa's in Europe or he's wherever and they have to, you know, track his flight and make sure everything's going okay. So that's where they do that. And then I think this is Santa's uh, relaxation lounge. This is where Santa comes when he's had a long, busy Christmas and he can just relax and hang out on the sofas. A lot of sofas. <laughs> And he can admire the uh, ice reindeer sculpture. We didn't put a roof on this because, I don't know. I just like the idea of it being completely open to the stars. Whenever you can look at the stars, that's an opportunity you should take. Um, okay, so let's go this way. I think the last thing to see here is this drawbridge. So this is like kind of the main, the main, oh. Whoops, we didn't paint this white. <laughs> you guys didn't see that. Um, this is the main entry here. Oh, look. What the heck? <laughs> you guys, all of our friends are here. We play... Uh, why is he chocolate? Um, we placed all of our friends here during the Christmas episode. It's just really cool they're still here. There's Rhonda, there's Piper. It's like going back in time. Um, okay, so over here is, I think there's a little, yes, this is like the reindeer housing area where we let the reindeer kind of like hang out and eat their little food and their little crates. All right, guys, so that's it. If you guys are still watching, it's, a, it's been a long episode, but we have toured everything that we've built. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you are following me on Instagram so you can follow Sheila's Amazing Adventures, because right now, while you're watching this, we're in Europe. <laughs> we're in Amsterdam, we're in Belgium, we're doing a lot of cool stuff, so be sure to follow us on Instagram so you can follow our adventures and see what's happening. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to follow Sheila's Amazing Adventures, then please subscribe. In the next episode, things will be back to normal, and we're going to move some people in, and we're going to keep building, and we're going to keep adventuring in Ivory City. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye